Hey Saints, this is Pastor McKinley from Trinity Lutheran Church down in Valonia, and I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the devotional sheets that Mr. Springle put up in our group here. Um, these are from uh, whatdoesthismean.org. You can actually go and subscribe, so they're sent directly to your inbox. Uh, but I do believe the plan is to make these available at the school for when things need to be picked up, and the link will also uh, be put up here weekly in uh, our LC Saints Facebook page. So anyway, here's a tour of it. So when you print it off, uh, print it off front and back, uh, you can print it in color. Uh, my office printer is just a black and white printer, uh, but it looks just fine in black and white. So uh, you print it, uh, and then um, it's got a little fold here line. I don't know if you can see that right down the middle. So that uh, when you do fold it, you have uh, your front page here with uh, one, two, three, and four. And then in the middle, you've got uh, each day's devotion, Sunday through Saturday. And then on the back, you've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. These sheets are pretty cool because they do a couple of things. First of all, they follow the church's historic lectionary. Uh, so they're bringing you readings that are appropriate to the church's calendar um, to help kind of fill the gap that we're in right now uh, with uh, with you know, with the cancellations of services and things like that at, at two of our association congregations at this point. Um, but it also takes the simple order of prayer from the small catechism that Luther suggests for every Christian. And I think these are, these are great. We actually, uh, at our house, typically when we do devotions, we do the, the very simple order of prayer from Luther's catechism, which is uh, just here on the front, one, two, three, and four. Uh, you can just use that. Uh, which is the invocation, the Apostles' Creed, the Lord's Prayer, and the morning or evening prayer. Uh, when we were in school, uh, we would do this in the van on the way to school, and then we also do it around the dinner table at night. These are really great for our, our younger saints because they're familiar texts, um, and it's not too complicated. If, however, you want to get a little bit deeper into the material, uh, what you could do is one, two, three, and four on the front. And then on the back, at number five, you've got the Psalm of the Week, which is actually the introit, uh, that uh, selection of the psalms that you pray during the divine service on Sunday morning. Uh, some congregations sing them. At Trinity, we speak them responsively. Uh, you've got that right here. Um, my recommendation as a family is to have uh, the head of the household um, do the, the first verse, the first verse, and then the, the family kind of respond with the second verse, or you could say it all together. Either one is fine. And then you've got a, a verse of the week. Uh, for this week, it's Psalm 145, verse 16. Your, you open your hand, you satisfy the desire of every living thing. That might be nice uh, little memory work for uh, for the whole family to work on together. Then after that, you've got the scripture and devotion. That's number seven, and that is what you find on the inside. So when you get to number seven, uh, and depending on what day it is, you go to Sunday for uh, the first day of this, and then you look up in your Bibles the, uh, the scripture verse, which for this week is John 6, verses 1 to 15, the feeding of the 5,000 from John's gospel. You read that, and then there is a uh, a short, short, short meditation on that and a one-line prayer at the end of that, um, just to get you a little bit deeper into the biblical text. Once you've completed that, on the back again, you're back to number eight, and it says the prayer of the week. This is, again, this is the collect of the week just for um, during the, the Sunday Divine Service that, that collects all of the themes of the church service into one concise prayer. Uh, number nine is where you'd have your individual prayers for uh, members of your family or whatever you guys are praying for at home. Uh, and then number 10, this one, uh, I, I cannot say enough about singing in the home. We don't do it enough at our house. Uh, we try to, but sometimes uh, even pastors and their families have trouble with this, uh, is the, the suggested hymn of the week that goes with the readings. Uh, this week is Jesus' Priceless Treasure. I think what I'll probably do is as these sheets are are print are, are put into the group, I will um, 
I'll put a link to a YouTube video where you can hear the, the tune. Maybe you can even sing along with it. Uh, but this is, uh, it just takes a couple of verses from a hymn uh, so that they're singing in the home. Uh, St. Augustine uh, is famous for saying once, he who sings prays twice. Um, and I can think of fewer things that uh, put the devil to flight than singing. So um, that is the, the quick, looks like about five and a half minute tour of these sheets. I highly recommend these in the home. And the, the really neat thing about doing this is if we get a lot of us to, to doing these in our homes, we're all on the same page devotionally. Uh, what a great way to unite our, our community uh, in, in this time of social distancing. You know, you're supposed to keep your distance away from each other, you know, sticking your arms out or whatever. But with this, uh, we're uniting our hearts and our voices in prayer around the same words, the same texts. And uh, this, uh, this is a wonderful um, a little devotion for, for all of us. So I, I hope that you, uh, you use these and, and find as much uh, uh, joy in them as I have. Um, if you have any questions about them, um, on the, the sheets, uh, on, on, the, on, the, on the post for, the, for where these sheets are, just tag me, uh, Trinity Lutheran Church, Valonia, Indiana, uh, try to tag me in that, and I'll keep an eye out. Uh, I'm not on Facebook personally anymore, uh, but uh, I'll see that. It should notify me, and I can answer any questions you might have about it, uh, whether it's about uh, how to use it or uh, one of the texts or, or something that's, that's said in the devotions. I'd be glad to be a resource for that. So with that in mind, uh, I, I commend this to you, and uh, God grant you his peace during this time. Bye-bye.